everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here to show you uh, or share with you my vacation lookbook. Um, but before I do that I want to do a, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, so earlier this week you would have seen the um, video on how to make bias tape from men's neckties like thrifted men's neckties. Um, and I think that that is going to wrap up the whole little um, silver capsule that I did the worked weekend ebook. Um, so going forward next week, I think you uh, can be ready to see hopefully I've got three fabrics that I'm kind of waiting on that I am waiting on from the mail um, But I'm gonna do a little Mimi G capsule with some of her simplicity patterns um, And I think with the exception of one I'm making um, their separate patterns, you know Because a lot of times she'll have like a couple of different elements in a pattern uh, Maybe two anyway, I'm making quite a few pieces <laughs> from some Mimi G and then I think uh, for the end of the year I'm going to tie in a closet case little capsule and the idea is that all three of those capsules um, can be interchangeable so I'm using kind of the same colors I'm introducing a few a couple of new colors um, or one new color I guess this capsule and then I think I'm going to introduce one more new color for the next one but the idea is that um at the end, all three of those little mini capsules will make kind of one big little fall and winter bright colored um, capsule. So I think that will take us through the end of the year with um, capsule sewing. And then I think I'm also planning on doing a kind of a holiday lookbook and some different ways that you can style um, every day, not every day, but kind of different, different ways you can style things for holiday parties so that you don't necessarily need um, new outfits for weddings or engagement parties or Christmas parties or whatever holiday that you celebrate as we're approaching the season, um, New Year's Eve, all that kind of thing. So anyway, those are kind of the plans from now until the end of the year. If there's anything else you'd like to see, someone had mentioned, mentioned a Q&A um, video, and if I... <laughs> which is kind of a little bit shocking to me. Um, but if you are interested in something like that, let me know. I'd be happy to do a Q&A, put out a little call for some questions that you might have. Um, and also, if anyone's interested in seeing my sewing studio or, um, gosh, I, even patterns or fabric stash, it's a quite extensive though. That would need a whole like series of and of its own, each of those. Um, but anyway, if anyone's interested in seeing those, I can definitely tack those on um, because right now I'm doing kind of two videos a week and um, whatever content you guys would like to see. Oh, look who's joining us. Gidget. Hi. Would you like to say hi? You guys have never formally met Gidget. This is our Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Gidget. And I'm sure you've seen her in some of my um, styling videos and stuff. She loves to walk around in them. Um, she's recently, she's a cavalier. She is. She just recently had to have her ears shaved because of some, um, she rubs her face on the carpet and gets mats up at the top of her ears, which then require shaving because you can't brush those out. So these are her ears of shame for right now. But this is, yes, this is the good girl. So there she is. Okay. <laughs> That's Gidget. So anyway, housekeeping wise, that kind of wraps it up. So um, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see between now and the end of the year. Um, but that's kind of what I've got planned so far. So moving forward. Okay, this is my little lookbook from um, the vacation that my husband and I recently took. We were supposed to go to the Panhandle last week um, for a vacation. And you'll see in this, um, I'm going to do a whole little series of videos um, showing what I wore and how I packed and that kind of thing. But you'll notice at the beginning when I'm packing, I am packing for Florida because that's where we were going, to the Panhandle. Um, we didn't find out about Hurricane Michael until we were actually en route. Um, so the plan was to drive down to Prattville, Alabama, uh, stay the night, um, golf the next morning because my husband and I both golf. And then the next morning we were gonna head down to the Panhandle and spend the rest of the week in the Panhandle. Well, on our way down to Prattville, we got word of a tropical storm that could be a hurricane. So we ended up waiting in Prattville for a couple days to see what happened. Obviously, that turned into a major hurricane. We never actually made it down to the Panhandle. Um, so we turned around, went back up north, and um, did four days, four days and three nights in Nashville. <laughs> so um, it was a much different trip than we had originally anticipated. We were going to just lay on the beach, and we ended up doing just a little bit more sightseeing than we had planned on. Um, and it also got a lot colder in Nashville than we had packed, but it was still time away, um, no responsibilities and all that kind of thing. So it was a good vacation all in all, just not what we had planned. 
So uh, without further ado, um, I'm also going to tack onto the end of this, I did some fabric shopping in Nashville. That was my consolation, the fact I didn't get to sit on the beach. My husband let me go into textile fabrics. Um, and I talk a little bit about it. I'll do a little mini fabric haul at the very end. Um, that wasn't at the end of our trip, but I'll just tack it on at the end of the um, outfit shots. Uh, but Textile Fabrics in Nashville is a fantastic fabric store. And if you are in that area, I would highly recommend a pop in. They have a great remnant section like in the back. I got two pieces um, from that little section. So um, anyway, I'll pop a link to their website down below. And I will also pop links to all of the outfits that I'm wearing, all the different pieces, because everything was me made that I wore. So um, if anyone's interested in more about the patterns, you can um, look there. And I think I will also pop them in the video too, so you can kind of see. Um, but I'll put links to all the patterns down in the description box. So without further ado, um, I hope you guys enjoy this little lookbook of my supposed to be, that's the other thing, our sh trip got cut a day short. It was supposed to be a seven day vacation and ended up only being six. So um, this is our six day vacation to in fact Nashville, not the Panhandle. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. And um, like I said, next video should be um, my plans for my next little capsule. So until then, happy sewing and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, everyone, here is what I am taking to Florida. I have gone with kind of a white, blue, pink, and pale purple um, scheme here. And I am gonna kind of go through and kind of tell you what I'm wearing and then you can see or taking and you can see if I actually ended up wearing it at the end. So we're gonna start, you probably won't see a lot of these. Um, I have two t-shirts and just a pair of gray shorts, just like knit shorts, just for comfy because it's just my husband and I, so we're gonna wanna get comfy. Um, I am taking, we'll start up at the top here, shoes, my pink loafers, some strappy heels, and my um, slides, I've got some slides there and then flip-flops for the beach. I have my golf outfit uh, that I'm taking, which you have seen, I can pop a link to that video um, up above with my Halifax hoodie sweatshirt, because we are golfing twice. Then down here, let's see, we've got, I'm taking two swimsuits. I've got the purple uh, polka dot, which is a Maison Fleur uh, swimsuit. I will pop links to all of the patterns uh, down below. Then I've got my closet case Sophie swimsuit. Um, I have a, these are going to be cover-ups. I have a tunic here that's ready to wear with the elephants on it. And then this kimono is my, um, oh, I think it's a sew over it kimono pattern. Um, I'll pop a link um, for the beach. Okay, I'm taking two button-down shirts. One is just my white button-down that you've seen in quite a few of my videos. And then I'm taking my Colette Aster with my birds. And then I'm taking four dresses my uh, Mimi G for simplicity dress. Um, can't remember the number, pop it down below with the fox. And then I've got a white eyelet dress that's kind of hard to see. It's blending in with my bedspread there, but it's in between the blue dress and the, um, per the fox dress. Then I'm taking my Seren dress with my blue tinsel. That's gonna get a lot of wear. And then my Tilly and the Button Stevie dress there. And then for bottoms, I am taking these um, Butterick, oh, they're the paper bag waist shorts that are the same pattern. I will post, again, the number down below, but the same uh, pattern as my green high-waisted paper bag pants. Um, but these are shorts, obviously, that need to be ironed badly. I'm taking my white ginger jeans and then two other Lark t-shirts, the navy and white stripe and then just the plain white. And I think that is for an entire week. So I think that we can put together some fun looks and this is everything other than underwear and bras and toiletries that I'm taking. So stay tuned for the daily looks. So day one of vacation, today was our travel day. I am in my uh, Tilly and the Button Seren dress with my Lark tee tied over the top and some slides. Been in a car all day, hence the wrinkles. But there we have it, day one. Hi everyone, day two. Today I'm totally channeling my mom like circa 1988. I feel like a little bit, but I'm loving this. Um, so we're in Alabama right now. I'm supposed to be heading down to Florida today, but Hurricane Michael has uh, other plans. So we are not 
heading to the panhandle now. So stay tuned on what this vacation is going to end up as. Uh, but see you tomorrow, hopefully. Hi everyone, sorry about the light today. Um, we're still in Alabama. I'm not going to Florida. Michael has made sure of that. So we are heading up to Nashville to see if we can salvage some of our vacation. Um, but today I am wearing a kind of a hack up of a dress. It is a McCall bodice with just a self-drafted um, pleated skirt. And I'll put the McCall bodice um, in the description. And then I've got it just paired with my Aster, my Colette Aster blouse and some um, my pink mules. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday. We have made it to Nashville. Um, got a Stevie dress on today, <clears throat> although it's gotten a little big on me since I wore it last. Um, oh well. Um, so that's what we're wearing today. We're gonna have some rain, I think, so uh, hair went back. Um, okay, so we're off to explore Nashville. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm here in Nashville and I went fabric shopping. I was going to take the camera in there with me and then kind of got weirded out. I'm sorry. I'm in my hotel room and this lighting is horrible. I was trying to get a little bit of, um, maybe I'll move a little, a little bit of the natural light, but I don't know if it's helping or not. Sorry. Okay. So we'll try this angle. But I just wanted to really quickly show you what I got. So I popped into um, Textile Fabrics here in Nashville, and I will leave a link down for their website, an adorable little local fabric store that I think has been here for like ever. Um, and I, they had a, oh, they had some gorgeous things. In fact, I had to kind of rein myself in a little bit. But I just wanted to really quickly show you what I got and kind of um, some of the stuff I have kind of plans for, some of it I don't. But um, anyway, let's just get started. Okay, they have a wonderful remnant section at this fabric store, and I bought, this is a cotton. You kind of see the pretty colors and the purple. Um, it's a very, very soft cotton. Um, and I got, let's see, two yards of this in the purple for like $10. Yeah, $9.99 um, total in their remnants. I loved the colors on this, and it could totally be, I think I'm gonna sew it up for this winter. Um, and I got the same in a teal colorway, and I, two and a half yards on this one. Can you kind of see the colors a little bit? Again, sorry for the lighting. Um, this was two and a half yards, or no, two and five eighths yards, and I got it for $13. So I really was excited about those and about sewing those up. And something maybe for my daughter on that one, I'm not quite sure yet. We have a couple weddings to go to this fall. Um, so I may use one of those for her. Okay, speaking of weddings, I am in need of making myself an outfit for one of the weddings. And I have in my head that I wanted to do a big ball skirt. And I will talk more about this in an actual plans video later. Um, but look at this polyester taffeta. <gasps> Can you tell? It's like a pale aqua background with like grays and pinks and lavenders on it. And a little bit of tan. And again, it's a really nice poly taffeta. I mean, it almost feels like silk taffeta. It's not, but it feels kind of like it. Um, but I got this for like a big ball skirt. And then I got this knit here to make a fitted turtleneck to go with it. So if you can kind of see those two together are going to be my wedding outfit for my cousin's wedding in November. So that's very exciting. And I was excited to get like that purchased. And then these two knits, I'm, I'm needing knits. So I was really kind of on the lookout for knits. Um, but I got these two knits. So my next little capsule, um, I think I've, I think I've decided to do a Mimi G, um, little capsule. And again, I'll talk about that in a whole other video of its own, but, um, I'm going to go more brighter colors to kind of go with my sew over it capsule. And I picked up this knit. Isn't it fun? So it's got that Kelly green and it's got that cobalt blue that are um, in the sew over it capsule. Um, and then also I'm going to bring in some hot pink and I had some other fabrics that I was going to use to bring in the hot pink. So this is going to be a top of some sort. It's just a cotton um, lycra knit. It's very, I'm very excited about it. And then because it, there's been such a push with this fall and leopard print, they had this cotton this cotton interlock. And I thought, oh my gosh, that makes such a fun turtleneck, <laughs> fun top. I don't normally, I usually do my animal prints in very small doses, like shoes and belts and that kind of thing. But I don't know, this called to me and I bought it. So 
there you go. There you have it. <laughs> so this was kind of my therapy for the fact that our beach vacation got ruined. And I realized that is a small thing because seriously, the panhandle has been hit very badly. In fact, we don't even know the damage quite as of, as of the time that I'm filming this. Um, and it's a bummer. This is the first vacation my husband and I've taken just the two of us in nine years. So it's a bummer that um, it wasn't able to happen as we wanted. But we were staying at a gorgeous hotel. As you can see the room behind me. Gorgeous hotel. The Opryland Hotel here in Nashville. And we're having a good time. So um, I'm going to post a whole bunch of video of me walking around the hotel. Um, it's a resort and convention center and stuff too. Um, and just kind of show you a little bit about where we're staying. So um, I hope you're enjoying this kind of mismatch mishmash of a video and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, heading off to play some golf with my husband finally <laughs> here in Nashville. So this is going to be outfit one for the day and I will tune back in when I change for the rest of our outings. See you soon. Hi guys, day last day here of the vacation. Um, it's freezing back in Indiana, so uh, thankfully I brought white jeans, so I'll be sporting this on the way back home with a jean jacket, because um, I think the high is only like low 50s today in Indiana, so brr. Um, anyway, it's been an unexpected trip, not what we were intending, but still a good one, so it'll be good to be back home. Thanks everyone for following me along this vacation. Bye-bye.